Are we on? Hey, right, we're back on the record. We've reserved April first, nine a.m. to twelve noon, and then um, one thirty to five o'clock is the anticipated. That's a full day of trial, um, and that will be day four. four. We'll call that day four, the full day. Okay. Um, the interpreter will uh, come on April first. You are you deferring then on Mom's cross so that we can get Enrique on the witness well, I'm, stand? I'm not or? waiving it. I'm simply saying we're going to do go out of order, put Enrique on. Correct. And then we will we'll go back up. Any remaining direct will be completed. Mm -hmm. right. I will then cross her. Yes. And. Uh, Miss Interpreter, I don't know if we're going to need you back on day two on their case in chief when you put Enrique on the stand, but we are doing if you're going beyond the scope, I am fine with that. We're going to do both of these. We have agreed that we're going to take them in one swoop. Okay, so uh, you can tell Enrique we are going to put him on the stand first thing on April 1st at 9 a.m. Enrique is going to testify. We're going to wait on Luva's cross-examination when we're done with Enrique and uh, his interpreter. It's because of the interpreter availability. Now, you had witnesses come today. I did, for the second time in a row. I know. And um, how quick are they going to be? I can, I, can, I can go till 5 and 5.15. I don't think either is going to be that quick. I, I think oh, both who are, are they? Is it Jennifer? Uh, it's Jennifer. And? And it's... Um, yeah, we, you, thank Robin, you. It, and Robin Hammond. Who's... The oh. mother of Sparrow. Yeah. Mm, Robin might have a problem. Jennifer will come again. Uh, we can get... How long do you think Robin would take? Here's what I suspect is going to happen. I mean, we can get done with Robin like today and then she don't have to come no, back. No, I don't think we can. Okay. Because one, there's video involved. Mm. Um, an hour. Actually, I will be 45 minutes to an hour. I Undirect. expect that cross will be a half hour. And what I expect as a result, and it's why I raised it at the last hearing, is that they will then want to put Phil back on as rebuttal to what. Is oh, I anticipate that maybe. Okay. Right. We reserve that. We, I could. Right. We did. Um, yeah. That's why I don't think it's just a quick. In and out. Uh, she's waited all day. Maybe she's. She hasn't. She didn't get here till two thirty or three because we I, told her. I'll give you an hour. So. It's four forty-five. We're gonna go till six. All right. <laughs> I can give you an hour. Five forty-five. I don't have the uh, the video. But set. Uh, you think you wanna you wanna bring Robin back? I, I'll bring her back because I'd rather have. Probably video not on April first because we're going all day with Enrique and finishing up with Mom. Or you wanna wait till you wanna tell Robin come at like at one thirty. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Don't um, want you we'll, tell we'll, her we'll that. Text her. I'm gonna basically text her when we're finishing. You know up what with you do? With her. You let her be wherever she wants to be, and you give her like a thirty to forty-five minute text warning. Yep. Come to court. You got forty-five minutes to get to court. Are we going to call you as soon yep. as you arrive? That's now she can do whatever she wants, and then you give your witnesses a 30-minute advance warning to get back to the courthouse. You know, All right, that would it. help next time. Now you have, and you don't have any other witnesses other than the dad. Other, yeah, and yeah. they're calling Phil possibly in rebuttal. Okay. Your Honor, I don't have a problem yeah, if Phil. he wants to put them out of order before he cross-examines no, my client. No, interpreter's going at 9 a.m. Yeah. We want to plug well, away. Well, we're going to do Enrique first. Yeah, yeah because then you, the interpreter can... Right, but if you wanted to, to get these other witnesses and then Luba last, and I'm fine with that, too. I, okay. I don't have any issue with... Let's you and I talk about okay. that, yeah, and we'll, okay. we'll figure sure. it out, because that's actually convenient if we can let them know exactly. For example, if we I'm take Robin right. right after lunch... Do you guys want to... Do you want to snag the second, too? April 2nd, just in case... I think it would be prudent. We need time for closing arguments, too. That's 30 minutes apiece. Okay. If it's available. Uh, 30 to 40, you know, 30 with a 10 rebuttal, or 35 and 5. Uh, yeah, about 40 minutes, 45 you minutes. Have you ever seen me do a closing that took me 45 minutes? Not off the top of my head. Thank you. Okay, thank I'm you. I'm concise with my that. closings. Very Great good. pictures. Uh, no, okay, <laughs> so I think we're closer to 30 minutes tops on your... Closings, okay. and uh, we, if we leave that, take the second also, leave that open. 
um, we might be able to get either a uh, oral decision or yeah close okay. it out for them yeah so now putting this in every parent they want to finish court they want to get done they want to move on they want to you know get a final decision so all right so April 1st and 2nd you'll be here anyway on the 3rd I'm sure so you'll be hanging around here Mr. Grimes first and second it is uh, JEA to do an amended trial setting order to, to lock it in in writing and put it in the attorney folders I'll see you 9 a.m. both days okay. 845 for setup your honor uh, back to the point I raised earlier off the record mm -hmm. and just so that it's on the record this trial has gone far longer than anyone thought we have not provided Anything it's on our side? Nothing unusual on my end. I, I get that. Yeah. But what I am saying, Your Honor, is this has now been drug out from, from November to now we are in February. My client, who mm -hmm. thus far, nothing has been presented that would deny him joint legal, joint physical custody. There is nothing that uh, indicates that he When is he rests, I see that motion for directed verdict coming up. So. I understand. I'm asking regarding temporary orders. He is limited to oh. only... When has he been doing the, what would it start out with? When did he go to overnights, et cetera, et cetera? He originally had 33 hours for almost a year. At the last hearing, we convinced you to expand it, and now he has... Two and a half? Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, so about 48 hours. All we're asking, Your Honor, is frankly... What I asked for last time, let's go to the 252 so these girls have a matching schedule. It's equal across the board. And girls, Sparrow and... Sparrow, and, and again, the girl, we're all going to sit here and tell you, everybody that's going to testify, that Sparrow and, and Bella get along famously. Um, they are very close, and they see each other both at Sunday, 10 a.m., yeah. Sorry? Mr. So, Gibbs, you... Yeah, my response to that is, Your Honor, um, you've already expanded it last time, and you've heard from my client that there have been some problems with that. The more you expand it, the more problems seem to be occurring in terms of... What's her your offer of proof on that? Well, her testimony that he... Uh, I did uh, expand it on January 15th, day two of trial. He has Saturday at 10 to Monday at 7. Right, and, and so you um, have... There have been some concerns expressed... You've heard about some domestic violence. You've heard about uh, him hanging up the phone, refusing to take calls. You've heard about uh, some concerns about uh, differences of opinion on medical. There, there is a case to be made that, um, obviously, for primary physical custody, which is what the order has been thus far. Mm -hmm. um, and I would s submit to the court that um, the more of the time that it expanded, the more hostile he seems to get. He won't even talk to her. He won't be in the same room. That doesn't bode well for co-parenting ultimately, and it doesn't bode well for co-parenting in the short run. So I think that what you've done so far is, is certainly allows him to maintain a relationship with his daughter. You've also heard probably, I, I didn't keep track, an hour of testimony about all the opportunities she offered to give him more time, and he wouldn't take it. Here's three hours. I'll give you another four hours. Nope. Not unless I get exactly what I want. I'm going to leave her, her with you. So it's not about getting more time uh, and pulling on the heartstrings. It's about winning, getting exactly what he wants. What we're asking is, you've already expanded it. Mm -hmm. My client has, has indicated that um, in order to allow her some weekend time for her and her family, just shift it. From, so it starts on Sunday at 7 in the morning until Tuesday night at 7 p.m., uh, and she will be giving him those three hours uh, you, extra time because you of say the weekend, gap. but she oh she works grave, so she's home during the day. Right, and there's a couple weekends. reasons that she stated, and I think they work in the short run. First of all, there's been problems when the child's brought back and she's not there. You heard about that, uh, and also, uh, so she would be willing to give him uh, an extra three hours because uh, there would be a gap on that Tuesday when there'd be the school on part of his day, but she's willing to give him more time on the back end um, and mm. uh, and have it go until Tuesday. So we would ask that, don't expand it more. You've been given some reasons. You want to shift it, shift it a day it. to shift Sunday to at away. 7 a.m.? Uh, if no other reason, then so my client will be home when um, Bella comes home. Because you heard okay. about that, and you're going to see some video about it. Thank it's, you. it's stressful to the child, which is your responsibility. Okay. I haven't decided yet. Uh, it, 
alternatively, you know, if I may be heard, just if I say no to the two five two, what schedule you believe is in the best interest of this child? Expand it to something else. Well, and, and again, I, I hate doing this when it's not pled, but mm -hmm. it is pled. It's just well, you brought can, it up. Yeah, <laughs> it's your motion well, or a motion. The problem. They're claiming domestic violence. The standard there, the court is quite aware, it, it's not preponderance of evidence. It's clear and convincing or a conviction down in, in the criminal court. Yes. There, there's nothing, okay? And okay. the court's going to walk away from this when it's done. This is my offer of proof going, there's nothing there, okay? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a nice story. Everything that's been presented so far, we're going to rebut every mm -hmm. last bit of it. There's not going to be any of it left standing. Mm -hmm. and, and I have had this conversation with Mr. Gibb and made it clear of where we're going. So, and some of it they tried to throw a band-aid on today, but it's problematic. All right? But the, the statute says that unless the court finds by the, after an evidentiary hearing by clear and convincing evidence uh, that there's domestic violence, the presumption is joint physical custody. That is. That's where we start. And we have taken the slow step because she came to this court in um, October of 2007, or uh, February of 2018, and said, he abandoned us. Well, now we have her testimony today. He was back here, okay? Um, and, and we're going to again show that he was regularly back here. I don't think that's a dispute, but she's talking about And that's being, my point. Yeah, it, it, that there and was what was her testimony today, and I'm going to use only what she said, is Bella's best interest is to spend, it is not in Bella's best interest to spend half of her life away from her mother. But apparently, we can take the transient property. That means it is in her best interest to spend more than her half of her life away from her father. Yeah, she's given you reasons for that. Okay. Now, they have said, well, he offered three hours. And you got to see one example of this. They, they avoided a lot of these. It would have ended visitation at 10 o'clock. And all he was saying was, let her stay the night. She won't do that. And by the way, she won't do it, and she's not home. So she believes this child is better off with Phil. She works swing shift. She is in the home 2 in the morning. There's no reason, okay? They have one set of, of children half the time. There's no reason at this point not to. If the court is not inclined to expand it to a full 50-50 at this point, mm. then, frankly, let's go to a 4-3. Let's give him one more day. But I agree with the court. It needs to be shift, or, or with plaintiff at this point, it does need to be shifted. Her days off are Tuesday and Wednesday. She should have Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay? We're not arguing that. What we're saying is the best is the 252. Give her Tuesday, Wednesday, Enrique Thursday, Friday, and then alternate the weekends. Her grandmother, who testified, she comes down here every month and sees her. Now we, they have a weekend. They have a full weekend. But instead they want to try to limit the time with Enrique. There's no basis for it. Oh, she wants the weekend because the grandma will come down from That's Seattle? That's one of the reasons, yeah. Because yeah. grandma don't work on the weekend. She's in Oregon? I'm sorry, Washington. Washington. Excuse me, Washington, right. Yeah. You weren't here for that day of trial. I did listen to it, though, okay. but I forgot it was Oregon, Washington. But, okay. okay. And again, we're okay with that. We're even okay with making sure she has the time off. Again, the stressors, and again... And when are Enrique's days off? When he is Enrique? currently... Because of the newborn child that, that he and Jennifer have. on paternity have. leave? Jennifer makes more, so he is the one that's on paternity oh, it's flexible. leave. flexible, okay. It, it, and it's cheaper. So, he is very flexible. But, again, they keep saying it's stressful when she's not there. We agree. We think that's what the video shows, is Bella does better when the exchanges are done between mom and dad. I thought you said you're off Tuesday, Wednesday. She is. Then you, no. don't, you, don't, go to, you don't go to work. If you get your child back on Monday night, right, right now, mm -hmm. and you wanna, you're right. willing to have the child back on Tuesday. So she can have this exchange Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday night. Tuesday night. She's willing to do that. So he has him in a block, Your Honor. So I don't do the exchange Tuesday morning. Then she has her day off with her child. Well, we have okay. to deal with this, this Russian school. Oh, this would. This the way I see it. He is uh, right now Saturday, 10 a.m. to Monday, 7 p.m. You do the math, that's about 57 hours. Um, with the DV allegations, um, kind of have to err on the side of caution until we get a final decision on that. I can, ex uh, I know I expanded it last time, but he's asking for more expanded time. You are submitting an offer to the court that there hasn't been any drama or conflict since I expanded it like barely a month ago. 
a month and four days ago. The co the, there has been conflicts. They've all been over the video calls. That's and all? That's what they're about. Is it all? Um, I mean, no. what what is your offer of proof in the last four weeks? Yeah, then, then Why what happens has gotten is, worse? is they wind up, well, here's what happens, and you'll see this in the video, is yeah. that they, Enrique uh, tell, starts working on the kid, winds her up, that mom's not home, and gets sends her in there crying. Yeah, you're going to be there with Phil. And, and she uh, wants know, that change in time, too, so. So she's home when yeah. the child, that's one thing. she so goes to work, and then she misses yeah. Bella coming home right. to her so house. she's there when Bella comes back. I think that's important for Bella. Mm -hmm. So she's just willing to shift the whole thing for a day for now, temporary, well, and... Yes or no, if he's winding the child up, and even if he were, I'll see if I can do an exchange that mom will be there. Yeah, I think it's important either way. So right. we got to yeah, figure out yeah. an exchange where mom would like to be there, and he has 57 hours right now. The most probably I can go is... If you're really towing the line here, 60 eight I don't know, wait sixty five hours Hold based on, on what sixty seven hours based on we're still in the middle of a trial we're not finished yet and the reason why mom had primary was because the age of the child and the alleged DV or the error on the side of caution well, I'm going to remind the court that is it Ms. Lozano stood right here and argued because I rewatched the video uh -huh. he abandoned him and hadn't seen the child in over a year that's uh -huh. why Mm -hmm. It wasn't until we just proved that the DV allegations mm -hmm. came up. Okay. okay? So Unusual. Rarely do I change custody <laughs> in the middle of a trial. Right. We are six weeks away from finishing this trial, so thankfully we have those two days available. And as a matter of compromise, if I can add more hours to Enrique's request, I mean, first of all, as, it would, as, it, as I hear it initially, it's like, I already expanded your time, and every time we're going to come to a hearing, you want to expand more time, and we're six weeks away from finishing the trial. Right. Um, so I'm amenable to that. Normally, I would say, why? I just expanded it. And then mom has concerns, too. But I want to make sure it's in the best interest of the child. It appears just on mom's proffer, she'd like to do an exchange where she would be there so she can receive the child and make the child at ease, I suppose. Sure. And as a compromise, I can increase dad's time, but not to give him the 40% timeshare. I think that is a fair compromise. He gets something and she gets something. But putting it all into logically, how would that work out? Well, um, I'm not concerned about maternal grandmother coming in for the weekend, because if she does, she doesn't, does she come down like once a month? about what she said in her testimony is about once so you have the options accurate? if yeah. mom's gonna um grandma's gonna come in whether mom's working or not or she takes a vacation day um would trump his weekend and one option is to compensate him for his lost weekend and just make it up or um yeah or i would just say that's she's allowed to trump him for one weekend so grandma can see the child that's one weekend between Kill. now and April 1. Not exactly. Okay. Right. Just the last time we walked out of here before mm. we thought was a, a Yeah, solid grandparents, order. it's not a grandparents' rights yeah. case. It is, but I understand, you know, she's kind of in a rock and a hard place, so grandma wants to do um, the visit. Either mom and grandma will have to take vacation days. Um, but if dad has every single Sorry. weekend, okay. your grandma might not, unless grandma takes a vacation day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or vacation week in the summertime. But she's that's, not, she's, buy that's not so much the court's concern. Uh, I could accommodate it one time before end of trial. Right. And the, um, so on weekends she works, so. My client's flexible. Mm -hmm. If they tell us the weekend and give us time, all we got to do is move so the day. She she's off Tuesday, Monday. Wednesday. We don't really want to mess with her Tuesday and Wednesday. She's off, off. So really her weekend starts um, Tuesday morning. Right. Yeah. Right? Right. Tuesday morning, you're home. Tuesday, Wednesday. So, yeah, Tuesday morning, she, Tuesday, you're home. So when you get off of work, Usually, you don't sleep much being graveyard, right? You're up by 11, 12, noon? Yes. Okay. 
Actually, earlier because she has school, so I get up at nine, right? Yeah. You said yeah. right. You know, before you roll, I so you don't go mind. back to work on Tuesday night. No, no she's on Tuesday night. You take her to Tuesday Russian school. You spend all day with her, and you go back. You go back to work on Thursday night. Thursday night. Okay, I get it now. So, she's available Tuesday after she wakes up, 12 noon. You back it up 65, 68 hours, and we're there. I just can't give you 72 hours. Okay. I, I hate bean counting, but... You gave him a lot of uh, rope on this. I, uh, 68 uh, hours, no, I'm sorry. 67 hours is 39.88%. So... so. 67 is really towing the line there. So I just want to remind the court that this is a case where he keeps, you're right, he keeps pushing for more time each time mm -hmm. before this is over. Mm -hmm. This is Best a guy who counterclaim for primary custody with mom and never filed a motion otherwise. So to hit her, sit here and say, hey, I haven't had my chance, I get that he didn't have counsel, but that's what he said he wanted. And here we are, you know, inching away at it. I think it's appropriate that we just make a, shy, a slight shift and then hear the evidence and make a ruling in trial. Ms. Lozano argued that exactly. Slight shift is absolutely appropriate. It. Sounds like she can do Tuesday at noon pickup, but I'll back it up. Let me see. If it was a Tuesday, um, if you back it up 48 hours, that would be Sunday at noon, Saturday at noon, but you add five hours back. You're looking at about uh, Saturday. About Saturday evening exchange at about. Five o'clock, and, that and uh, mom goes to work at seven o'clock on Saturdays. Yeah. You can have Bella. I mean, at five o'clock Saturday. Saturday, you go home, get ready for work. Five o'clock, you deliver Bella. Then you working, and then you're gonna get her back Tuesday at twelve noon after you wake up, okay, so I or or one o'clock whenever you wake up. On Tuesday, well, she has school at nine. So you have to, yeah, there's issue with so the dad school. dad drop her off and pick her up Well, you have school? an order that that not happen because of the school's issue, if you recall, that, that he can't be near the school. Well, that's mom's school. Which story. school? Not the Russian school. The Russian school. The Russian school. Right, right. That was, was discussed oh, last time. Oh, that's 9 to 12? Right, 9 to 12, yeah. My client will drop well, Who was taking her? You don't get her, if you didn't get her back till Tuesday, oh, you got her back on Monday at 7. Right, and then, then there was, a, he, she's willing to take a gap in his time get the child, take her over there, and give her back to dad, which is why she said till Tuesday night. She uh, what time you get released block. from work? On which day? Monday night. On uh, Tuesday, Tuesday morning. morning. Tuesday morning, I get up about 3 in the morning. Okay. Oh, okay. So I you're said, able to get some sleep and then get up at... Yeah. So I am I'm willing to give him the extra three hours that he would miss when she is in school. So that I would give, not, normally he gets her son... Uh, yeah, the Russian <laughs> school. <laughs> So it was, it was Saturday so at 10. And it so would Monday have to be Saturday 2 p.m. until Tuesday 9 a.m. Yes. You do that? Yes. Okay. How does that work for these guys? Saturday, um, That's a Sunday to Monday. Tuesday until Tuesday 9 a.m.? Does that work? Done. It would have to be uh, 8.30 8.30. A.m. Because the school starts at 9. Yeah, yeah. Can we do well, that? Just yeah, that? 8.30. Is there any reason, okay? Because mm -hmm. right now he doesn't, he can't. Take Bella to school, and mom picks her up right there at his car and takes her to school. Yeah, she eight thirty pick up. Well, that mom will pick up from dad, and dad mom will take child to Russian okay. school. Okay, see a few minutes to get him over there, get her to school. Half right. hours enough. Yeah, yeah. Mom yeah. gets home eight thirty. Eight thirty, yeah. Saturday okay. two. That still gives yeah. enough time for mom to for mom to uh, get some sleep and then pick her up eight thirty, take to school. Okay, okay. and uh, the video and uh, can, conference still remains in effect. To, oh, for the non custodial parent? Is that correct? Oh, the daily? Yeah. Yeah, you had said that and you made some adjustments to it I because normally there was don't some change support. orders in the middle of trial. I'm not asking you to change. I'm asking you to clarify because, in my view, this mm. is the big thing they're fighting about. Mm. Okay? Mm. Um, to my understanding and my direction to my client mm. was okay, the judge made it clear it's every freaking day. Yeah. Okay? For about three minutes. So that's what he's doing, it's three minutes. Mm hmm. And, he, yeah. and what she's, she's saying, well, she didn't say just three minutes. Give her the phone, let her walk around. Can the court just say, I mean, what he's doing is he's sitting a young lady because down. Because it's every day, it's kind of overkill, but three minutes would be fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was it five here? What time was it? Enough to say hello, good night, see right. you tomorrow. That was, that's what I told my client, right. but it is what they're fighting about. By the time about. kids get older, they don't no, want that. Not. 
No, we're fighting about half to cartoons and distractions daily and Three doctor. minutes is the max. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry? Three mix three minutes is the maximum. You get your daily call. All right. uh, mm -hmm. May I say something? Because she's three, right? Bella's three? Yes. Two? Three? Can I request for him to just give her the phone and let her and me talk without him distracting her? At is three years old, you can do that? Oh, yes. She takes the phone. She talks to her grandma every okay. day. I just Any problem with that, Dad? Well, yeah. But no problem? Your Honor, here's the problem. She holds the phone. When, when she calls Dad, the plaintiff's holding the phone, mm -hmm. and as she testified today, she's encouraging him, but she's right there. But what she wants is no, no, his I house. Give, I give him the phone. Okay? I give her the phone. Once a, once a three-year-old turns loose with a phone, they drop them, they break them, they're yeah, expensive. I can imagine. And it's, it's silliness. You well, know, she doesn't uh, do it with her grandma, that in this particular well, case. But that's the plaintiff doing it with her mother, with her phone, and her breaking it, okay? I get it. All he's doing is, and, and I saw the very first one that occurred. Yeah, I think. It's in the bedroom. It's supposed to be a good night. I love you. That's it. Some parents barely have phones, so they use like a laptop or an iPad, and they put it on a little table. Well, yeah, however they do it, it's fine. It's just that, she. I mean, three minutes is fine, but, I mean, if you put a timer and you make a big deal out of it, she gets nervous. I mean, she's not going to talk three minutes or five minutes anyway. Is she talkative, child? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she is. She's talkative? Yeah. Very. Sometimes she stays for half an hour with her grandma, but I'm not asking for half an hour. I just want it's because you know, one, one parent one parent likes it, and one parent might not like the video calls. Well, but just for consistency, um, and um, it's three, you can get distracted. You're supposed to remove all distractions, and then just let her child to let the child have their conversation for three minutes. Dad says no objection. If the child get you know, hey, walk around. He's dropped the phone. Dad's got to go pick up the phone and give it back to her, okay? okay. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, I hate micromanaging. I just, honestly, I feel yeah. like I might be part of the problem because I'm giving him advice that the last time was absolutely against what you said you had ordered, and I was like, okay, that's on me. Yeah. And it's still coming up, and now I'm telling him, look, she said three minutes. I went back and watched the video, and you said three. Now you're confirming it's three minutes. It's three. I okay. think I said three. Because it's I, happening every day, that's ha why. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Three minutes each yeah. day. Yeah, I mean, clock, right? if it was three times a week, depending on the age of the child, you know, that's a little more flexibility. I get that because you don't go every day talking to the child. Look, if you don't want distractions, do you want to make it later in the evening? Well, I mean. Because five o'clock, I mean, I. It sounds I like say, she's up, right? I, I she's want, not. No, no, she's up. But I can tell you, one of the videos yeah. is at a ballpark. I, I gotta break it to you. She really did not want to be talking to anybody. She wanted to go back in the ball bed. Well, the only problem with doing that is that. Oh, my is that a game, baseball game? On her time, she won't be there to put on the phone. And, and oh, that's right. That, that was the issue. I, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'm, sorry. I think she's fine with it, but he's got some bad blood with her. With so, so far, this is the best time we can do right now. The five and I had forgotten that aspect. Yeah. She goes to All work right. at 7. I, I had forgotten that. So, we're confirmed starting this Saturday. What time do you. Pick up. What time do you drop off the child, or dad pick? Two p.m. Mom is sending parents. Sending right. parents sending drops parent. off. Yeah. It's and two o'clock yeah, up until eight thirty. On Tuesday. Eight thirty. Tuesday. Tuesday. Dad brings her back to dad, mom's house. Dad right. brings her back to mom's house. Yeah. Eight thirty. Then you go Russian school. Yes. Just temporary band aid order for six weeks. Okay. okay. And we're April first and second, right? Uh, April 1st and 2nd is reserved. Okay. And uh, let's you and I talk about witnesses so we can mm -hmm. actually schedule our stuff. Yeah, okay. Right. My best advice is, like, give them a 30-minute head start, get back to the building, and they'll be, they come. And they're free to go about. So, uh, yeah, if it gets kind of crazy at that point, you just tell them you can, we'll just text you ahead. Okay. All right. Nothing can you hit that stop button. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she had it set up.